What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite figure review for you guys and this time it is on the brand new Elite 57 Jeff Hardy figure and it is looking incredible. I'm so excited to have this thing. It is our first shirtless Jeff Hardy and I can't even believe they did this. I was thinking they would never give it to us and they gave it to us right away. This is our third Jeff Hardy Elite that we have gotten and it's actually our fourth if you think about it because the WWE Shop Exclusive just released. It just shipped out. It was a mistake by them, you know, but we have already gotten our four Jeff Hardys and it's February of 2018 so I'm sure there are plenty of Jeff Hardys to come and that is just super super exciting. We also have Elite 58 Matt Hardy coming up so we are just getting a plethora of Hardy Boys figures you know I guess since we had to wait so long for them and they knew the demand would be very high for them so they're just pumping them out there but we are not going to complain guys. I'm so high Jeff Hardy one of my favorite wrestlers of all time so I am definitely excited to add another Jeff Hardy to my collection so with that being said guys let's go ahead and look at this thing so starting off with the packaging guys you got the front window with the charismatic enigma right here our accessory we'll take a look at in just a second you got your series number and all that jazz a picture of the man himself looking handsome AF look at him just killing it right there on the back we got a picture of Jeff here some info if you'd like to read that you can go ahead and pause it now you got some career highlights here. You got the rest of the figures in the wave. And I think now that we've picked this up, I have every single figure in the wave besides Shinsuke. But I don't think I need that because I already have two of them. But now that we've covered that, guys, let's pop him out of his packaging. Jeff Hardy, the good Jeff, the good and here we have the Charismatic Enigma out of the packaging looking absolutely fantastic. We also have his accessory which we will cover in just a few seconds. But at first glance guys, this is an amazing figure. I hate we didn't get a different head scan from the epic moments. But I don't think anybody gives a flying F because this thing looks incredible. Um, all the tattoo detail which we'll get into in just a second. But this thing is fantastic man. It is, it's like a combination of the epic moments and the entrance grates with a new torso. And it is looking fantastic there are some things that i'm going to get into that i don't like but um they're very minor things that you know aren't a huge deal but we will cover those guys so first let's take a look at his accessory and then we'll take a look at a closer look at jeff after that all right, guys, so taking a look at his shirt right here, it is your just regular big cast uh, style t-shirt, and it is in this navy color. This is, of course, their shirt that they had when they first returned, and I'm loving the colorway. It's like a Tampa Bay Rays, if you know baseball. This is sort of their colorway they got going with some lime green out in there. You got their logo with Reborn by Fate, and on the back it says Hardy Boys in a very nice font. I love this shirt. I always wanted to pick it up. I have not yet, so I definitely got to do that. But that is pretty much it for his accessories, guys. So let's look at Jeff himself. So starting out at the top of the head, guys, we have the same head scan we got with the Epic Moments. And I love this head scan a lot. I wish the hair were a little bit longer, but I believe it is accurate to around that time that him and Matt Hardy returned. I believe this is the same night as WrestleMania 33 when he took off his shirt that he was originally wearing. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what they're going with. Right here on the torso, this is one of my gripes right here. Look at the shoulders. I don't know if you can tell it on video, but um, the shoulders are a slightly different color than the torso. It's not a huge deal, but it is a little weird. I don't know why they did that. Maybe because they had to paint the skin tone onto the arms. I'm not exactly sure, but um, let me know down in the comment section below if you can tell. Again, it's not a huge deal. I'm not letting it ruin my party right here because this is an amazing Jeff Hardy. And I did not mean to rhyme that. That was unintentional. But the beard looks incredible on this head scan. That just popped in my head because I looked at it. But taking a closer look at these tattoos, um, when I met him in real life, this is sort of inaccurate because um, it's supposed to be, I think the right side is supposed to have a purple demon, and on the left side it's supposed to be a blue demon if I'm not mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be how it is. Again, not a huge deal, just something that um, to take note of. On the back, this is the brand new thing that we're getting, guys. We got all of his details. All of his tattoos are in here. We got the Hardy logo, and I love the way they put this on here because it's actually, it's not saturated the piss out of, so it actually looks like a real tattoo. They outlined it in gray instead of, uh, you know, jet black, so it doesn't pop off like a real tattoo would. It's sort of faded, 
and you can tell it's been through like time. So we also have the continued root right here on the top and then his roots intertwine with a snake going down and if you've ever seen the video he talks about the snake and how he actually hates snakes and that he wanted to have it like his roots overcoming his fear or something like that. So they killed this detail man. They totally nailed the uh, the snake. I think they did a great job on that. It wraps all the way around and in real life I believe it goes under his armpit right here but they left that out. It's not a huge deal. I understand why they did that but um, I'm just glad that we got the back tattoo. At least they gave us this detail here. In the arms, it's the same arms as the entrance grates. So we got the black and white sleeves. This is another inaccuracy right here. In real life, his arm right here, his hand I mean, it actually, uh, he's supposed to have the roots going down his index finger and thumb as well. So I guess they just didn't know it or they just didn't want to add new hands, but he is supposed to have roots going down here and here. I don't think his fingernails were painted that night. Could be wrong, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, other arm looks great. We get the same pants mold as the entrance grates, I believe. So it's all looking clean. Great black pants, great kick pad looking boots he's got on there. They're not even kick pads, that's just what they give them. But that is the complete Jeff Hardy figure, guys. I want to do some comparisons, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Here's a shot of the new Elite 57 Jeff up next to the Epic Moments. Jeff Hardy, again, you see the head scans are the same. The pants are pretty much the same, except we get a studded belt with this one. So if this is supposed to be from the same night, they didn't give us the same belt mode. Not a big deal. I can live with it, and I am just happy to have both of these Jeffs. Here we have the new Jeff Hardy up next to the entrance. Great Jeff Hardy with my custom t-shirt on there. And for the reason of the video, let's go ahead and put the new shirt or the custom shirt that I got from Ring Bling on this Jeff just to see what it looks like right here if I can get it on there. So yeah, I'm digging the way that looks. That's pretty freaking awesome. I like that. Maybe we'll see him like that on MDT Live. But here's a comparison for you guys. Here's the new Jeff Hardy up next to one of my custom elite Jeff Hardys in the all black attire. And then here he is up next to my other custom elite Jeff Hardy in my lime green and gray attire. And that Jeff's head is removable and I can take the shirt off right here. It's this wife beating shirt or whatever you want to call it. Black tank top. But um, Brock Lock actually made this and I wanted to do a little comparison right here. Let me go ahead and zoom in. So here's a little side by side for you guys between Mattel's product and Brock Lock. I think Brock Lock did an excellent job putting these tattoos in here. You know, he totally had to go off of reference pictures, so I think he did a fantastic job for what it is. It's all hand-painted, and I believe he went ahead and put the snake in the armpit. So let me go ahead and show you guys this um, right here. So there you go. He did put the snake head in the armpit, and that is just looking great. So shout-out to Brock Lock on Instagram for completing this thing. So what I may do is go ahead and put the tank top on this Jeff Hardy, the new Elite 57, and then run him that way in the pick fed. That way, if he's in a match, he can go ahead and take his shirt off for big spots. So that was the whole original idea with this custom. So now that we've gotten this thing released, now I can use the final product instead of using my custom. So huge shout out to Mattel for that. So now I can actually do what I had originally planned in my head. But that is pretty much going to do it for my review of this Elite 57 Jeff Hardy, guys. Again, I do recommend this figure. If you love Jeff Hardy, if you love wrestling, you got to grab this thing. It's an amazing figure. If you have the epic moments, you got to have a shirtless Jeff Hardy. If you have the entrance grades, you got to have a shirtless Jeff Hardy. It's just a thing. you got to pick this thing up. I definitely recommend it. If you want to pick this up, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS. You will save 10%. That is going to do it for this review, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you like the figure or you like the review, please leave a like. Try to get this thing to 200 likes if we can. Comment down below if you own this Jeff Hardy or you enjoy this Jeff Hardy figure. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.